Modern society is highly dependent on cars and the smooth flow of traffic. Unfortunately, we cannot always see or predict, uh, for that matter, how fast we can go from A to B, how much time it will take to go from A to B, or how much traffic we actually face. To answer that question, Rick Road over the last 10 years has collected uh, data from traffic in Melbourne and the Greater Melbourne area and installed tra traffic sensors that measure the actual amount of traffic occurring at a given moment in time. Here at Swingburn we, we can use that, uh, that traffic data to develop a predictive model that will tell a commuter, for example, who is running, who is going from um, the Hawthorne campus here at Swingburn to the CBD, how much time it will take, how much traffic the commuter has to expect and whether or not a given day or time affects the volume of traffic that we face in Melbourne. Smart decisions mean that you avoid traffic congestions in advance, that you take the best possible route for a given day and a given time. The historical data that we have been given by Swick Road allows us to do this. We can use this data to improve traffic flow and traffic conditions in Melbourne. Whereas a reactive approach, that means an approach in which you monitor the data and provide real-time feedback to commuters, would only tell you what's happening right now. And the proactive approach using historical data would allow uh, commuters actually to plan ahead, to check whether or not on a given day and a given time they have to expect traffic jam, traffic difficulties, and how much time it would actually take to, uh, to commute from, let's say, Hawthorne to the CBD. As a first step towards developing such a model, we have created a graphical user interface that visualizes the historical data in context. It shows the temporal and the spatial relationship between intersections in Melbourne and allows us to actually play a scenario that simulates a commuter going from A to B. Our research will allow for better traffic management and hence easier and smoother travel in Melbourne. This has been a Swinburne production.